So yesterday guys I made a video talking about the first descendant and Nexon's choice to make season 1 and the content within season 1 split up into 3 different content drops. Basically we get content drop 1 and 10 weeks later we get the third content drop uh, which is when we would actually get Ultimate Ferner 2 months after season 1 drop people. I basically said in that video that it wasn't a good idea and I don't know what Nexon were even thinking. I did probably overreact in regards to Nexon and the opinions of some of the community but at the end of the day guys I still stick to my guns. I don't think drip feeding content into a game like The First Descendant is going to help it in any way whatsoever especially now we're seeing its player base just basically fall through the floor. Today guys I bring you an update video because you won't believe it, Nexon have actually made changes in regards to these content drops, but are they much better? Well, how's it going guys my name is DPJ now I am giving away an ultimate descendant or the equivalent in that caliber, one giveaway per week. Now to enter this it's quite simple, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my first Descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning, obviously. Winners are picked and announced at the end of the week, tomorrow being Sunday, we'll make a first Descendant video tomorrow, I'll announce the winner then, but good luck everybody. So yes, you are seeing the original concept of how season one invasion was going to be dropped and incorporated into the first descendant we can see there's three different updates here week one week five and week ten uh, week one we got the dungeon uh, the invasion dungeon uh, the Haley descendant uh, the inversion reinforcement which is a new progression system looks pretty cool uh, season one battle pass and more Five weeks later on the 26th of uh, September, we get the Void Intercept Battle, the ultimate weapon. I think the second ultimate weapon, the first one is tied to the season pass you'll have to pay for. We get external components, descendant exclusive spawns and more. And then 10 weeks after the season one drops, guys, we get ultimate Frainer, hard mode infiltration, modification modules, ultimate modules and more. The thing I I mean, content dropping and drip feeding content like this, I don't agree with. I think it's a scummy practice. But the worst thing about this was not the fact that it's like five weeks between each, but the fact was they released Haley on day one, season one, but they released their modules 10 weeks later. I mean, why not put them together? Even the changes they've made are slightly better, which we'll go through in a second. They still haven't decided to give Haley a modules on release, which doesn't make sense to me. I'm literally here slapping myself in the head. I, don't, I just can't make sense of it. But either or, Nexon, they listened to their community. They did. I didn't think they were going to. I'm not going to lie. I thought that they just didn't care. I'm so used to companies like Bungie and EA and sometimes even Ubisoft where money's first. But Nexon, to be honest, they've got quite a bad track record. I mean, going into the first ascent, I didn't think they're going to care as much as they do and it's great to see they're actually on the side of their community which is well for now they are anyway for now they are this game is still alive in about a year's time we'll see how progress is but yeah at the moment though guys it does seem as though they got our best interests at heart which is what we like to see so they pull out a post which i read on twitter uh which you can see on the screen now greetings descendants this is the first descendants producer Lee Biam Jun. Uh, first, I would like to thank all descendants for enjoying our game. Recently, I've noticed that many of you are concerned about our current update schedule for season one, and as a result, we've decided to readjust it. To put a long show start, we've decided to move up our update schedule uh, for October 30th down to October 10th. The previous schedule was initially planned to provide consistent updates every month before each content release. However, I have to admit that I failed to fully meet your expectations. So rather than splitting it into three different or partial updates, season one will be divided into two updates. One on August 29th and the other on October 10th. Along with that change, we've also began examining the update methods for the upcoming seasons in the future. In order to do so, our previous update for Season 1 will be merged to the second update, which as mentioned above, will take place on October 10th. 
Currently, the dev team is working on continuous updates and hot fixes since our initial launch. Uh, we are taking various measures and methods such as reorganizing the development process and even actively recruiting additional personnel. We will do our best to prepare updates better to make you satisfied. Thank you. So I'm not going to lie, that's actually quite a nice touch. But yeah, so on screen now guys, you can see the changes to Season 1 and Invasion. So this will start August 29th and last all the way to December 4th. This is no doubt when the Inversion Reinforcement Progression System will reset with Season 2. But we can see here guys, now we've got two content windows, two content updates. One coming August 29th and the other one coming October 10th. So quick maths here, it's about seven, well actually it says seven weeks there, well week seven update, so yeah, it probably makes sense people, what am I talking about? But yes, we can see with a week one update coming August 29th, we're getting the uh, Invasion Dungeon, we're getting Haley, the new descendant, we get the Inversion Reinforcement, the new progression system, we're getting the Season 1 Battle Pass, which comes with an ultimate weapon and more. And then guys, on October 10th, we get the Void Intercept Battle, the ultimate weapon, which is the second ultimate weapon of Season 1. We get external components, Descendants exclusive spawns, ultimate throwing, hard mode infiltrations, modification modules, ultimate modules, and more. Now, although it's still drip feeding content, well, not it's two drips of content, it is much, much better this way. I understand that them just dropping all of this at once again will probably die off quicker but them leaving content for a later update is probably a smart thing to do my problem with the first concept of this was it was five weeks apart and it was three content drops this is seven weeks apart it's two content drops but the second update is going to be absolutely well massive here as we can see there but yeah although it is far from perfect this isn't a perfect concept in my opinion it isn't a great practice but They've come out, they've said, they understand, they get our feedback and they're going to work better on such in the future. So we can let them off. I, for one, will apologise about what I said in my video yesterday in regards to Nexon. Not that I said anything bad, but my thought process in regards to their mentality in releasing content like this wasn't coming from a good place. And it's mainly because of like previous developers I've much, much experience with. But yes, Season 1 Invasion comes August 29th. We're getting two content drops now instead of three over a 10 week period. It's much better this way, although not perfect. But I will see you next week, guys. August 29th, let's dive into the Season 1. And hopefully, it puts the standard back on this game. And there we have it, guys. A update video on the video I posted yesterday cussing Nexon in regards to their practices of drip feeding content to their players. They've admitted this is a bad practice, they're going to work better on such in the future and that is more than enough. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.